fifth time of recording. I was transferring files from my GoPro that I'm filming with now to my PC using a different method. It was very slow. So I was quite thirsty and I wanted to get the last of my this is, got, this is wild IPA from my Krups sub draft system. So I poured a drink. My phone, my, my, my camera was still busy. So I thought I'll use my old camera phone. Not that one, my other camera, my other phone. Set it up. Couldn't find the bracket anywhere. It took forever. <laughs> the head had died right down by then. Uh, eventually I found it, set it up, excuse the the setup by the way, it's just this is a temporary thing for I was doing green screen. So I started recording, started doing a review, at the end of the review went round to turn the camera off, the phone camera, it wasn't recording. Okay, no problem. Start again, top up the glass, set it all up, make sure it's recording, do another review, I run fine. Now that much, I topped off the rest of that, it's now finished. And I gla I, luckily I've got a full glass, because when I, I transferred the file, the video, to my PC and looked at it, half my head was cut off. And... I love the GoPro because it's quite soft focus. It doesn't show all my wrinkles. <laughs> Whereas that camera phone, every, every freckle, I've got freckles, which you can't see on the GoPro. Every blemish, every... So that's, that is not flattering at all. I'm not, I'm not a vain person, <laughs> as you can tell. But that was horrendous. I hadn't recorded. This is, pardon the setup, temporary, uh, and my, it's not my normal camera. This is my just my old phone I'm using. So I'll stick with the soft focus of the GoPro. Anyway, as I mentioned, this is from the Wild Beer Company in Somerset in England, and it's a draft beer from Beer Wolf. And it's called IPA. It's wild IPA. It's a, I think it's 5.2% or 54 I'll put that in. ABV. And it's it's the style is IPA farmhouse. Now I've never heard that before. I've heard the farmhouse ales with saisons, but not an IPA farmhouse. So they use their, their in-house three kinds of yeasts and I, I don't know what hops is in it. But it is it's a lovely beer. As 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 I say, is that's this is the last glass out of two litres. So it's very hazy. It's like a, a beautiful pale golden amber. It's like marmalade colour. Uh, it's got a lovely what finger thick, mousse like thick head on it. The aromas I'm not gonna create much here. It's citrusy and it's grapefruit, basically. Cheers, my dears. If you get a moustache, that's a good sign. That once the the light carbonation dissipates. The flavours just burst. Fruit. Pink grapefruit. It's like eating a pink grapefruit. But there's that slight sweetness there. It's not mouth tuckery. And then you get a bit maltiness, bready maltiness. And then there's a very slight bitterness at the back. It's a really, really nice beer. Of course the sub 
I think it, it's down to it's down to two centigrade, so it's quite cold. Although that has been poured quite a while now, but it's still cold. But of course, all the flavours have come out now. But that is a really nice, refreshing beer. I have scored it already on Untapped. I gave it. I think the average was three point six three from four and a half thousand check-ins. I I gave it four point five. I'm nine out of ten. Cause it's really good. It's like pink grapefruit. If you like grapefruit, this is the beer for you. And I love grapefruit, so this is delicious. So just a quickie. Thanks for watching. I'll see you next time, hopefully. Ta ta for now. Cheers, my dears. Oh yeah. Keep an eye out for some green screen work coming your way. Not very professional, but it's a laugh. Cheers.